Uh, tēnā tātou i tiwi, uh, mihi tēnā ki a koutou i tēnā i rā, marama tanga na minute day 34. And in this session, we're just going to add another layer on top of the māngai kōruru that we've spoken of previously. First time we talked about the māngai, we settled on the understanding that ko te māngai he wairua. Taupo tiki wini mirātanga, the physical man was not the māngai, but the spirit that he carried on him, that was the māngai, which leads us into the next layer of our kōruru around the māngai. 1933, Ratana speaks the following words to those who were gathered at the time. He said to them, it is not this physical body that you see before you, that is the māngai, but the words that I speak, that is the māngai. Um, and he ori te nā kupu, um, ki te tahi atu kupu, i te timatanga, ko te kupu, i a i hoa te kupu, ko i hoa no te kupu. So that's uh, John chapter 1. And I'll throw that in the comments section for those who might want to check that out. Um, but yeah, there is a whakamarama in that. That when Ratana asserted himself as te māngai o ngā ariki, every word that he spoke was a living word and it was able to breathe life into things. Uh, why is that? Um, obviously because the words that he spoke were words given to him by Ihoa. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall live on. Um, so I... And that is why Ratana was able to prophesy into the future um, and also perform miracles and heal thousands upon thousands of people um, during the time of his ministry as the Maui Almighty. So, aye. Kia ora tātou.